Konnichiwa, Benjamin, this, it's your real roots man in Japan. Today I'd like to talk about why I moved to Japan. Now, there are many reasons, but I'll cover some of them here. Uh, one of the first reasons was that I've always felt a connection to Japan since I was a child. You know, starting with the anime, then diving into reading about the culture, learning about the culture and the history. Uh, and I was just fascinated by the country, fascinated by the culture. One. Two, when I went to film school, I uh, studied films from all over the world. I'm a cinematographer and director. Uh, and when I was studying film, one of the places in the world that really struck a chord with me, that I really felt a deep connection to, was the films from Japan. Specifically, films from the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. Uh, films from Kenji Mizuguchi, films from Yasujiro Ozu, films from Akira Kurosawa, uh, Masaki Kobayashi. All these filmmakers, I just was awed by their films. You know, the structure of them, uh, the way that they were told, the stories, um, the compositions, you know, the edit, everything. So I felt like, man, I really want to experience the place where these films grew out of, where these films got their inspiration. Um, and then three, uh, I visited Japan back in 2017 and I spent almost a month here and I just fell in love with the country. You know, I fell in love with it. Just the landscape, the architecture, the art, the design, so many different aspects of it. And I felt like I needed to come back. So five years later, here I am. You know, I just feel a vibrational difference from the U.S. In the U.S., I felt like a disharmony. I felt like I was losing artistic inspiration. I felt like I wanted to experience a different place. Uh, different from the culture I'm used to, different from the lifestyle I'm used to. I feel like the U.S. at times can be, or can feel chaotic. It can feel troublesome, you know? It can feel like folks really don't want to get along or want to find a balance. And that's not to say that it doesn't happen, because it does. And there's no perfect place on the planet, as we all know. But I feel like I found a place here where I felt more of a peace, you know, more of a balance. And another big one is safety. So I don't want to miss that one, safety. Folks can leave their doors unlocked out here. You know what I mean? You can drop your wallet, somebody's gonna pick it up and give it to you. You know, or turn it in so you can find it somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a different way of operating, you know, out here. And it's just something that I wasn't used to in the US. I didn't experience in the US so much. Because I feel like when you go out of your comfort zone, you can grow. Sometimes you got to go out of the place that you're used to or go, go away from the things that, that make you comfortable so you can grow, continue to grow as a human being, as an artist, you know? 
So I did that. And I got no regrets. So, you know, those are the major reasons I moved to Japan. And I'll get into how I've been received here in Japan and, you know, my interactions here and how I felt about that um, in another video. And I'll continue to travel, continue to see different places of the world. I'll come back to the U.S., of course, you know. But as far as I'm concerned, this is my home now, you know. And we'll see where this journey takes me. But uh, I'd love to create a home base here and go wherever I need to go as needed. But, you know, the journey continues. And we're going to see how it, how it all unfolds, you know? So if y'all have ever moved somewhere, whether it be from your home country to another country, whether it be from U.S. to Japan, leave a comment. Let me know. I'm curious to see what are the reasons, what motivated you, uh, and why, you know? So if you like this video, please leave a like, leave some comments, and subscribe. Take care of yourselves. One love, one world. Cha mata. How long will the wicked them rain upon I and I children? Will of them are gonna stumble and fall. And the righteous now have them back against the wall.